Excel 2007 offers many error checking features. You will find that as you create your formulas you are going to make some errors. And Excel offers little displays and hints as well as full-fledged features and options for checking errors within a formula. The one that you've already seen quite a bit throughout this chapter has to do with the formula autocomplete. You know that if you wanted to create a new formula you can do that by simply typing and as soon as you type in the first letter of a function it will automatically expand down into a menu starting with whatever letter that you typed those functions. So here you could go ahead and choose the function you're looking for by double clicking it and then working through the arguments here you can step through the creation of this formula. I'm going to unenter this by clicking the undo command up there in the formula bar. You also have a full-fledged error checking feature and if you come up here to your formulas tab into your formula auditing group notice that you have an error checking button and if you select that it will go through and check your worksheet for any errors and if it found any it would point that out. Notice that there aren't any errors on this worksheet. So I'll go ahead and create an error. I'm going to select cell D7 and I'm going to delete one of the column references in my range and I'll enter that. Well notice that as soon as I do that Excel indicates that there's a problem here with this formula and it gives you this little drop down menu here contextually sensitive menu that when you select it it will say there's an invalid name error you can get help on this error which will take you right to the help file as well as you can show the calculation steps it used to create the formula. So I'll go ahead and say choose the calculation steps and notice it underlines up here my D indicating that there's a problem with the range. If I choose evaluate this button will allow me to step through the various arguments to find the problem and notice immediately when I choose evaluate it's showing me that I have a problem here with my name used in my range. So I'll go ahead and say close and come back here and fix it. This should be D5 and enter it and notice I have just solved the problem. You can always step through and evaluate all the arguments within a formula or a function and to do that select the function that you're looking at come here to formula auditing and select that and notice you have evaluate formula and if I choose that I will get the evaluate formula dialog box and I can go ahead and evaluate this and notice it actually shows what's being evaluated in the first argument and if I click evaluate again it will provide the result here of true that that was a true statement and if I evaluate again because it's true it pulls out the second argument of the text label of reorder so go ahead and close that you can restart it and step through it again or you can just simply close to get out of that. Another nice air checking feature that Excel offers has to do with as soon as you click inside of any formula that you've created, Excel will actually go through and indicate what cells are used in the creation of that formula. So here you can see that D7 is indicated as the cell is used in the formula and that's true of any formula that you create. Another nice feature that Excel offers is up here in formula auditing. When I select this button I can trace the precedence as well as the dependence and that's based on what cell I'm in. So I'm going to go ahead and trace the precedence and descendants of D7, the formula I have right here. And when I do that, notice that trace precedence shows that this range here is used within this formula. C2 to D5 is what it's indicating. And if I come back up here to formula auditing and choose trace dependence, this will also show me that this cell of D7 is used in this formula here. So you can kind of see the flow of your data into your formulas and which formulas use which data or which cells and kind of trace your way through the development of your formula. Now all of these techniques make up the various features and displays and indicators for errors that you might get in Excel. And to point out one more, please do not forget about your help file. I already have it open and notice that in your help file you have under formula and name basics all the error messages 
listed and if you select any of these you can get more information about what is going on in that error message. Very nice feature, don't forget about it and use your help file to help try to debug your formula errors. Now let's move on to the next movie.